Hi, I'm Brian. And I'm Liliana. And welcome to WNN. Let's go see if past me is doing some interviews. Hi, I'm Brian. I'm here with... Rachel. And I eat. And did you guys go to homecoming? Yeah. Yes. How was it? It was nice. It was fun. Would you say it was a movie? Yeah. I <laughs> I'm Brian, I'm here with Ella Arnett. And did you go to homecoming? I did. How was it? It was super fun. Got a party with some of the unified PE kids like Leroy. It was super fun. Well, that's nice. <laughs> I'm Brian, I'm here with Eris. And did you go to homecoming? Yes, I did. It was absolute fire. And how about the homecoming game? That was also absolute fire. The student section was on fire. Not literally, though. The weather. Let's see. I mean, it's Arizona, so let's see if it changed. Here's your weather. On Sunday, there will be a high of 85 and a low of 55. On Monday, a high of 84 and a low of 56. On Tuesday, a high of 83 and a low of 55. On Wednesday, I have 81 and a low of 53. On Thursday, I have 76 and a low of 57. On Friday, I have 76 and a low of 51. And on Saturday, I have 76 and a low of 52. I am starving. I am too. Let's go see what's for lunch. Woman of crafts. Are they useful or what? The games I've been playing have been boring. Let's go see if they got any fun ones on game review. Hiya! We're gonna show you a mobile game called Catbird. Even though it looks like a cat bad than a cat bird. And but anywho, continuing on. I've been playing this game for the past few days and it's been amazing. I've been enjoying my time with it, even though it kinda makes me mad a little bit here. But that's okay. I just want to show my experiences with you guys. So, the game has ma many challenging puzzles and challenging jumps that can really make you lose track of time. Overall, I'll rate this game a 4.5 out of 5. The Hoko game. A night to remember. You should have been there. Let's go see the clips. <laughs> I don't know, young. Ah! You better stop! Stop! <laughs> we just found someone to interview. Come. What delicious meal are you eating today? Uh, quesadilla, obviously, from right there. Uh, if you didn't come, you're missing out. Can I have a bite? No. Let's keep walking around. And I'm here with... Anna Samonuzzi from Italy! Yeah! Alright, what are you doing here today? 
Uh, we're waiting for the parade and waiting for the football game. All right, who do you think is going to win today? The Warriors! All right, all right, you have high hopes, don't you? Yeah, I do. All right, can you predict the score or not? Nah. All right. All right, I'm Brian, I'm here with? Delia. Julie. And how are you guys enjoying the tailgate? That's nice. <laughs> All right, I'm Jose and I'm here with Luz Monje. All right, what are you doing here today? Um, we're painting faces for a going? drama club. All right, all right. <laughs> Let's see what kind of commercials. Hi, we're here with the announcement. Auditions for the winter musical Little Shop of Horrors are happening next week. Stop by the room 860, the drama room, to pick up your audition packet and sheet music. Once your audition packet is filled out, sign up for the audition time with Mr. Chavez. Seniors, just a reminder, Justin's will be here Thursday, November 18th. If you have not ordered your cap and gown for graduation, you can do so then. As a part of recognizing Native American Heritage Month, we would like to share this fact. In World War I and II, Choctaw and other tribes as Comanche and Misakawa, Eep and Chippewa in Oneida and Hopi used their native language as a battle message. Later, the Nav Navajo Code Talkers were recruited, and this is what we know as the Code Talkers. The Native American languages of these tribes were used upon as a weapon in World War I and World War II to uh, aid the United States. Today we would like to honor those that served in the military and those that will still serve. We want to say thank you for your service. Ira Hayes is a member of the Gila River Indian community and is one of the six Marines that raised the flag at the Battle of Iwa Jima. He is the, from Arizona and his information in a short video of his involvement in World War II will be displayed in Hall 3 in the class display. Also, we have a couple more features for you. Hey Warriors, Link Crew and Chick-fil-A are doing a refugee drive. Bring hygiene products, clothing, canned goods, and lightly used toys to your second hour class. The class that brings the most items wins a free Chick-fil-A lunch. Start bringing items November 3rd through 17th. We will count and collect items on November 15th. <laughs> Is it the Gay Kids Club? Nope, it's PSA. Hi, my name is Demetrius Sims, and I just wanted to let you know this is the LGBT Club, and this is a very safe community, and it's a real big safe space, and we like to make everyone feel welcomed in here. We don't judge. We connect and we like to have a safe space, a very safe environment for people to come and be themselves. We're very welcome and very open and very open-minded. We're a community and we all like to support each other and we all like to talk to each other and this is a space where that everyone can feel like we're friends and we're family and we can talk to each other. Everyone needs to have a safe space and that's what GSA aims to provide. Everyone's welcome here and you can always be yourself. <laughs> Come on down every Monday after school to 305. What's up guys, it's Jason. I'm back to show you guys another tutorial on how to improve your guys' photos. 
Remember Jace from last year? He obviously knew his stuff and just won a student production award from the Rocky Mountain Emmys. Let's check out his winning video. there's nothing you can do because math is all around you and numbers are everywhere. So today we have 40 individuals from the community all the way from VPs of different companies to stay-at-home moms. So a very wide gamut of professionals to talk to students about how they use math in their everyday life as well as the path they've taken since high school to get where they are and if their views of math have changed since they were sitting in a classroom the same way you guys are. So after today, I'm hoping that their view of math has changed just a little bit, that they do see the importance in their future. So I want adults to see that there are good teenagers out there, that you guys are great, a great group of kids coming out. And when they're looking to hire more people, they'll come to Westwood to look for you guys. The Hoko dance. You also should have been there. I was Cinderella. Let's go see the clips. Thanks for watching. I'm Brian. And I'm Miliana. And fear, fear the spear. The spear.